morning everybody it's Alice welcome back to my channel I have a new Dollar Tree video for you guys it's the beginning of November and I have a new video um, I actually filmed this video a few days ago but when I went to edit it somehow I deleted the whole video on accident and so now I'm having to find myself doing this all over again so some of the items you're gonna see do not have packages anymore it's very few that don't have packages but for the majority there are some items that don't have packages there are some items that I've already put to use so I will tell you what those are at the end of the video and then some items that my kids had purchased um, which are like toys that they've already played with so I won't be able to show you those but let me just go ahead and get into this video the first thing I picked up was this odor neutralizer by the great sets by powerhouse it says great sets by powerhouse and this is compared to renazit this is eliminates odors air carpet and fabric pet fresh 13 fluid ounces so I do have two little chihuahuas in my home so I thought this would be good to kind of spray on the furniture and maybe the rug to see if I can just freshen it up a little bit and then I purchased another bag of the sore muscle and back soak Epsom salt this is the eucalyptus scent um, just for anybody in the home who, you know, needs this, who needs, you know, my daughter works a lot, I work a lot, my husband works a lot, and then I have a daughter who's in sports. So this is just for any of us who need that extra little um, relaxer when we're taking a bath. Picked up a bottle of conditioner just to hold me over till I get to Walmart. This is a bonus, 20% more free, so it's 18 fluid ounces. The White Rain Conditioner in Coconut and Hibiscus. I picked up this super oxygen bathroom cleaner this one is um this is by the home store but this one i have not purchased before i usually get the one that's the blue or green top i'm not i don't remember but um this one says it sprays on blue and it turns white when it's clean and it's a fresh citrus scent so i wanted to give this one a try I use this in my shower my tub to clean it really good and it works pretty good i purchased this pumpkin air freshener solid gel i already opened it and this scent is nice but it doesn't give a very big throw I have it in the bathroom and it doesn't really give it a big throw but I wanted to give it a try because I usually get the gel the jelly ball ones I haven't tried the just the solid gel so this one was an interesting find I picked up two packs of the toothpaste toothbrushes I got one in purple and blue and the other pack is in red and purple I just needed to replace our toothbrushes and so I went ahead and picked up two packs of these um, I picked up this LA's totally awesome all-purpose concentrated cleaner degreaser it says as seen on TV I'm not going to read everything but it cleans a whole lot of stuff so I'm interested in trying this out and it's a 32 fluid ounce refill bottle I already have like spray bottles so I thought it'd be cool just to get the refill bottle and then I can just use my spray bottles that I already have another shave gel because I'm in a home full of women and young girls so another shave gel picked up the Comet Classic Toilet Bowl Cleaner. This is 24 fluid ounces and it has this the top right here that you squeeze. My son was out of shampoo and so he picked this up for himself. This is a 2-in-1 plus conditioner, shampoo and conditioner by Nickelodeon. It's the Paw Patrol. And then I picked up another pack of the Intimate Wipes. You get 30 wipes and they work really great. This is by the Assured Brown. Now, um, moving on, I did pick up two little cheapy umbrellas. I mean, they work okay. Um, these are just to carry basically from point A to point B from my car to the classroom and the same for my kids from the classroom to the car. This is all we really need it for. We don't really go out in the rain. So basically from the car, from the house to the car, from the car to the class and vice versa or, you know, from the car to the church door basically is what we need it for. So just picked up two uh, depending on how well they work I'll go back and pick up a couple more just so we can have on hand I did pick up another pack of toothpaste again one of the pack the items not in the package this is the cavity protection in 2.9 ounces then my daughter wanted to make some cupcakes so we picked up this Pillsbury traditional chocolate cake mix and um, we'll probably be doing that this weekend let's see what else did I get I picked up two bottles of the Suavitel fabric, um, dry, uh, what is it called? Fabric softener. You get 30 days of freshness. So you can get nine loads out of here, but because I use such small amounts, I get more than nine loads. I can get about 15 to 20 loads out of this. So I bought two of these, and this is a Suavitel. 
They do have their Christmas items coming out. Not a whole lot, but I did pick up a couple candies. This is the spearmint leaves with real spearmint oil. And I also picked up the starlight mints with real peppermint oil. I really love these two candies, so I'll be putting those in my kitchen. I also picked up, um, let me show you this candy first, a pack of Sixlets. These are the Christmas color Sixlets. These were always my favorite candy growing up as a little kid. So anytime I see Sixlets, I like to buy them. But another reason why I buy them is when I need that chocolate fix and I don't want to feel guilty eating a whole candy bar, I just put a couple of these packs in my lunch bag and I get my chocolate fix. So I don't feel guilty eating a whole lot of chocolate. I did pick up this beautiful red ribbon. It's red satin and has this glittery red design all around it. Not quite sure what I'm going to use it for yet. I have a few things in mind, but I really, I thought it was really pretty and I wanted to get it. And this is nine feet. Picked up a couple new nail polishes. This is red and gold glitter in number 32 by the Ellie Colors Color Craze. And I also picked up by Ellie Colors Color Craze the number 35. It's just this really pretty purple. And I kind of have a feeling I already have this color, but it's okay. If I do, I'll just give it to my daughters. Another item that is out of its package, but these are colors that I didn't have. These are the... Let's see if I can remember. They're the Sentos... Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if they're by Jot, but they're the Sento markers. And these two colors are scents I did not have. And they're supposed to be like therapeutic scents. So these are going to go into my collection. One more beauty item that is out of the package. This is the e.l.f. Lip Liners um, Lip Brush Duo. So <clears throat> this side is the brush, as you can see here. This is the brush for the lip liner. And this is the lip liner itself. And this is a dark brown. If you can see it right here, it says dark brown. So you do your lip liner and then you brush it or blend it in. And then you put your lipstick or lip gloss or whatever you're going to put. So that was really pretty. My store doesn't have a whole lot of, um, what's it called, uh, beauty products right now. So they kind of suck. Uh, I did buy these socks. Now, I did wear these today. So <laughs> please don't mind my socks. So I did um, purchase these and they have the grips on the bottom but these are the most softest socks they, they're like the chanel i think that's what they're called these are gray will buy polka dots these are the most softest socks ever i could wear them all day long with my boots at work or even just at home to lounge in and they're so comfy they don't make your feet sweaty or anything like that and the inside is just just as soft as the outside so these are fabulous socks you can these are perfect for like stocking stuffers or like at work we're doing this year instead of a secret Santa gift exchange we're doing a secret it's still a secret Santa but it's like a stocking exchange so we're gonna whoever we pick we get a pair of socks whatever socks we want to pick and we're gonna stuff the socks with all the goodies so I thought that was a really great idea Dollar Tree has a ton of super adorable socks right now so I'm gonna be getting more of these socks for myself but also for my daughters for stocking stuffers and probably purchase one for the um gift exchange at work. I did pick up this pack of artificial nails by Sassy and Chic. You do get 80 pieces. I just removed my fake nails today from Dollar Tree. They're the Sassy and Chic press-on nails and they were the, what were they? The um, American manicure ones. They were like off-white with the off-white tip. Um, I did purchase those a while back and I had them on all week, but um, two of my nails broke today at work, so I just popped them all off. And I'm going to be doing these this weekend, but what I like about these is you get 80, first of all. They're plain, so you could decorate them however you want, and the length is one solid length, so you can leave them that length or shorten them however you want, so you're not limited. So this is a great value for a dollar. I'm excited to use these. I'm going to be putting these on this weekend, and maybe my daughters and I will do some nails, some nail... Um, doing our date our nails this week and so excited about that purchased this pack of it says ornament filler by the crafter square in the christmas stuff and it's gold stars with like this snowy stuff in it but what i'm going to be using this for is for pocket letter shaker cards so i got that now these are another item that i already took out of the packages and put them in my coffee bar but this is a 24 pack of the beverage napkins and this one says eat drink and be thankful and I also got the 24 pack of gift thanks and it has a bunch of fall quotes around it. So again, I already opened these, put them in my coffee bar section, but um, these are really cute to have. 
Also another item I already opened, but this is a three piece, let me get that out of here, three piece hair clip set. And I thought that these were just super beautiful. You get an off white, a gray, and a pink. And they're just little miniature clips. And these are also perfect for a stocking stuffer for a friend gift or, you know, your daughters, anything like that. This is perfect. It came in three in a set. And so I just purchased these because I needed some extra clips for my hair. Picked up a pack of paper plates for the days when we just really don't want to wash dishes, basically. And I have a few more items, but let me just get the rest of my stuff out of the way. Okay, so a few more items that I purchased was... I found this candle, and this one says uh, Cabo Breeze, and it's um, that kind of rivet, rivet, I think that's what it's called. It just has a pretty decoration around it. It just has this really nice soft smell to it. Um, it's very soft and floral, kind of perfumey, um, so I'm going to actually be saving this one for like spring, summer. And again, this is the Cabo Breeze scented candle, 2.5 ounces. I did pick up three of these. These are the little mini mason jars shaker tops. And I got three of these. So I'm gonna, I already washed them. I'm going to be putting them in my coffee bar station. I did see Sparkle on Forever got, um, had purchased these. And I had one already, but it didn't have the holes on the top. And so when I saw the ones that she had, I found them in my store. And I picked up three of them because I'm going to be using them in my coffee bar. Also picked up some more candles. Let's see, these two are by the old Williamsburg brand. This one is Autumn Day. And this one is the Salted Caramel. I already have the Salted Caramel and it smells really great. It has a beautiful throw. Makes my house smell so delicious. So I picked up another one and I think this was the last one that I found. And I wanted to give the Autumn Day a try. I also picked up these other candles and they smell okay. But paired with like another candle lit together, it kind of gives it a thicker throw, if that makes any sense. The throw isn't that good. So I found that if you have, and I already lit, um, not this one, but this one, I already lit this one. I found that if you light them like more than one, it kind of adds to it, if that makes any sense. So this one just says rhubarb crumble and this is the pumpkin cheesecake. I already have a pumpkin it was a pumpkin roll wax melt in my wax melter in the living room. So I have this with it. And so it kind of just gives off a, a more of a scent. So this is the pumpkin cheesecake and the rhubarb crumble. And then I found they have the Christmas wax melts already by the Luminous, Luminous brand. And this one is the Deck the Halls and Spiced Gingerbread. So this red one here smells like a Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, smells super yummy. And then the spiced gingerbread. Oh, smells super, super good. So I'm hoping that the that these give a good throw. And I picked up another packet. This is the toasted marshmallow and the fresh fallen snow. And this is the marshmallow and snow. Oh, it just smells so fresh. And so, so clean, like fresh, clean white towels. I don't know, it just smells super good. They had, I believe, two more two more styles like four different ones um all together other other ones that I did not purchase these are the only two packs so four cents that I was that I enjoyed the most and so I got these <sighs> okay let's see I'm getting closer to the end I did pick up this for my window my kitchen window this is um the window stickers and this is Merry Christmas and it has three little penguins in the front I just thought that was cute and then I purchased this sign. It says Merry Christmas. And it has this beautiful like blue sparkly background. It just says Merry Christmas with some poinsettia flowers. Very beautiful. And then I also purchased the one that says Tis the Season. I like how it has the pattern up here and then it looks like wood down here. So I thought these were really pretty. And then um, I do want to show you one last item. But before I do... This is an item that my daughter had purchased. Now, they have these beautiful scarves right now. And this is a maroon scarf. And it's just a plain scarf with the little fringe at the bottom. Super soft. I think it's made out of the same material those socks are made out of. So, this is this is perfect for a stocking stuffer gift as well. Um, even just to add to any gift that you have. You know, wrap it around the gift bag as an extra added touch. But I just thought this was beautiful. And she actually purchased this for herself. Um... 
I really like the color. I have a scarf, like a um, very thin material scarf that has a pattern on it that uh, I actually wore it today. But it wasn't solid color, so I think I'm going to go back and buy me one of these. This color is so beautiful, super pretty for the fall. So yeah, that was a great purchase that she found. And last but not least... Okay, so the very last item that I wanted to show you guys are these prayer boxes that I found. They have these in the section where the books were. That's where I found them. I don't know where they would be if your store had them. I don't know where they would be at. But I found them in the section where my where they have the books and it was kind of like on a top shelf like a top middle shelf I thought these were a perfect addition to any stocking or anybody who's getting baptized or anybody who just needs some extra prayer in their life or just anything it could be anything I just thought this was a beautiful little item and they had so many different types of patterns I want to say like at least seven or eight different patterns so I purchased three I purchased one for myself and my two younger daughters have decided to get baptized in the name of Jesus. And so um, I thought this would be a perfect addition. And I plan on purchasing them some new Bibles with their names on it a little bit more for preteens. Um, so I'm planning on making them like a little gift bag. And I just thought these would be perfect to go with their little goodie bags that I'm going to be making them. Or these are just perfect for anybody who needs a little uplift or just anything. You know, keep this in your purse. Keep it in your car. Take it with you to Bible study. Just anything. Just super cute. And so I went ahead, like I said, I got three. So my daughter, my middle daughter, she is, she loves blue. So I purchased the blue box for her. My other daughter loves these colors and these patterns. So I purchased this one for her. And this one was for me because I really love the minty color that it is. And so each one, I'll show you what they look like. They have the exact same thing on the inside, but they each have a different scripture. So they each come with this little tiny notepad and they each come with a pencil. And this one says, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust you. Isaiah 26, 3. And this pretty floral one says... Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. And then the one I purchased for myself, and this is one of my favorite scriptures. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Psalms 55, 22. So this was just, and I like how it has an extra little detail on the inside of the tin this is just a perfect little pocket size container to keep with you and even if you don't use it for a prayer box you can take the this out and stash some change in here stash some gum in here stash whatever you need to keep put some bobby pins or um whatever your heart desires this is perfect you can use this in your car for extra you know so some mini feminine products and keep it in your purse and you want to be discreet you know, I mean, it's so many uses out of this little box. And even if you're not into prayer or, you know, you're not, I don't want to say religious, but if you don't pray or whatever, you could even just purchase this box and, you know, cover this with washi or put whatever you want on top of here. And you have this beautiful little tin. And if you don't care for the Bible scriptures, you could cover the scripture if you want, whatever. It's just a perfect little tin. I just thought it was beautiful. And like I said, it's a bonus because it comes with this beautiful little note paper and a cute little pencil. I think it's a pencil because it has an eraser. Um, so I thought this was the perfect little find. So that was my favorite find at Dollar Tree this week. Um, I want to probably go back and get more and just keep uh, maybe some stocking stuffers or give them out as gifts. I don't know. I just think they're perfect. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching my latest video. I'm sorry I haven't been around that much. I've been super busy and I just can't get myself to film every week like most of you do. I mean, I see you guys, a lot of you people that I follow, a lot of you awesome ladies and women that I follow. I mean, you guys are amazing. You have busy lives and families and children and husbands and spouses and whatever. And you still work and do other things and yet you manage to post videos like every day or every other day. I wish I could get to that point. But right now, I'm just doing videos as often as I can, which is not very often. But I am so grateful that there are so many of you still sticking around with me watching my videos and listening to my raspy voice sometimes. Um, my surgery, a recovery is still going kind of okay. I've noticed that 
something is issue some there's some issue with my nasal cavity it hasn't closed and so I'm having a lot of issues with that and a lot of issues with swallowing food and liquids and things like that so yeah I don't know what's going on with that if any of you have ever had tonsillectomy I mean is that something that's normal is this going to take a long time to heal should I be having nasal cavity issues you know should my water be coming out of my nose which is probably not normal I don't think that should be happening but please tell me am I okay am I normal or am I over exaggerating or should I go back to my doctor and find out what is going on why can't I swallow food and why is my liquids not going where they're supposed to be going yeah probably TMI but I'm serious like this is so frustrating I'm trying to eat food and I just can't swallow my food super annoying but yeah, so I mean, I got so much going on right now. Um, I really want to post as many videos as I can. I just can't get out there that often. But anyways, I thank you guys so much for sticking around with me. I have not forgotten about my, um, what is it? Um, uh, giveaway that I had planned, and I actually decided to put it on hold because I have a birthday coming up in exactly one month, and I thought it'd be fun to do like a birthday giveaway. And so I have something in mind for that. So I'm still collecting items. Maybe I'll collect some of these or put one of these in there. Whatever you guys like. If you if there's something that you saw that you would like for me to add into the giveaway, mention it below in the comments and I will pick up those items. Um, I'm still collecting items, like I said. So some of the items I have are going to be like probably from like September, October, but that's okay because some stuff you can't get your hands on anymore. But I'm thinking of, so that's my idea. I'm going to push back my giveaway to December or maybe the end of November because I want to do it for my birthday, which is the first week of December. And I'll give you guys more information on that later. But you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. It is Friday for me here in California. We're going to have a nice, quiet weekend and just relax home. I'm going to clean my craft corner, work on some pocket letters I got going out. And yeah, just relax with my family. Maybe have some hot chocolate and start watching some Christmas movies. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. God bless you all. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.